you're good. What's going on guys, it's Brody Kern and today I have an unusual request for you. I want you to literally get on your phone right after this video and unfollow everyone. Let that sit in. I want you to unfollow every single person that you follow on social media. There are so many different and conflicting opinions about what you should be doing right now. And there, it is causing a ton of toxicity in the mind of young male entrepreneurs. And that, that, there's a ton of other issues out there as far as like females and like all that shit, but I only speak to young male entrepreneurs, so that's what we're going to talk about today. The state of social media and what it is doing for your performance and your confidence in yourself and in your business. So I'm going to tell you a story about my life and what had happened to me when I first got into business about five years ago. I had gotten into real estate and took off very, very quickly. It had a ton of success for myself. I think in my first eight months between April and November, I sold 46 houses as a buyer's agent. Now this was unheard of in my market. I was making really good money and I was looking on social media. You know, I was on Instagram looking at these other young real estate professionals and other young entrepreneurs who I would see them. They had more money than me or seemed to and lived these crazy extravagant lifestyles and I literally spent my only ten thousand dollars on buying a Rolex a black Rolex a Mariner don't get me wrong I fucking love that watch but I did not have the money to buy a Rolex at that time and I thought that it was going to give me status and make me do better I was like, and I was justifying it in my mind in all these crazy ways I was like you know I'll fucking look good feel good play good type of situation and to some extent that's true but it was just not the time at all for this I bought a Mercedes so that I could, you know, fit in and kind of have that picture, the life that I wanted. And I was being totally unreasonable with my spending just to achieve that quote unquote status that I wanted. And because I was looking online and seeing all these young guys, I was comparing myself. And what I didn't actually realize is even though I was you know, 22 at the time, maybe these other 22 year olds who were driving Lamborghinis or had a bunch of Rolexes or whatever, maybe they were, had been doing e-commerce since they were 15, right? They're on chapter 20 and I was on chapter one trying to keep up with them. And because of that, it was causing me to feel inferior and it was causing me to hate myself and want to work harder. And I thought more work meant more money, which meant more happiness. And I could not have been farther from the truth. I had what I call my midlife crisis at 22 and I really had to figure out what was going to make me happy in life. I was so busy trying to convince myself that I wasn't the loser alcoholic and loser drug addict that everyone remembered. Every single person I knew said, you know what, bro, he's gonna be dead at 20. And I had to, I had to reinvent myself. I had, I had to make sure that I could actually perform. And for me to actually perform, I had to become whole internally. And to do that, I had to unfollow everyone on social media. I chose a few people that I really, really enjoyed and I stuck with their content. If you start following everyone and consuming every, you're just going to get confused. So today, I want you to take your phone and unfollow everyone because social media is only good when it is used as a tool. When you use it as a guide to how you should operate your life, you are on a path for failure and self-hate. That is it. That is what Instagram breeds. My 15-year-old brother literally thinks that a pair of Gucci slides or some fucking stupid hoodie is the most important thing on the planet and that it's going to make him the happiest dude on the planet and the most successful dude on the planet. Like he legitimately thinks this stuff. I love the, I love the kid to death, but and he you know, he's progressing on his own, but he's 15 learning good stuff from me and progressing, but this is what like legitimately every single young aspiring entrepreneur out there is thinking and it, it is totally ruining the state of entrepreneurship it's giving a real unrealistic expectation of what it takes to succeed in entrepreneurship the best thing that you can do today is unfollow every single person and get to work use social media as a tool to speak to your following and grow your brand and aside from that Pick two or three guys that you really resonate with their content and you can follow them, but everyone else, drop it.